Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 21 of our All the Mods 9 to the Sky Let's Play series, where today uh, we are heading to the end, taking on uh, Ye Olde Ender Dragon, taking her out, and a Wither, too, because, you know, why not? Let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful day here in the world of the Andrada, where today, well, I think it's about time for us to head to the end, uh, fight the end dragon, maybe take on a wither while we're at it, too, since we're going to be over there. Uh, and yeah, like get some stuff done, because uh, I, I think it's just about time. Like, why not? I can't click for some reason. Something's going on. I'm not swinging my sword. Anyway, uh, let's oh, press all the right buttons and get started. Why? I'm not swinging. What's happening here? What's happening? Why is everything being funky? All right. Uh, reload. All right. We're back. And that issue actually leads me into part of what we wanted to talk about today, uh, because uh, in between episodes, I let it AFK for a little bit. We got 22 hours. It was only about like three, four hours or so. Um, but we've gotten quite a lot of essence from all of our different essences that we have going on. Um, I'll go talk about those in a moment. But the big thing is, is that we have been getting ability totems from um, everlasting abilities. Uh, so I've been looking out for flight. I have not gotten flight yet, but you can see here that we've gotten a ton of different ones. I'm including some pretty dang good ones. We can see that jump boost and step assist are the most common, which makes sense. Um, but as they've been coming in, I've been grabbing them and throwing them onto my person so that I can utilize them and make myself absolutely ridiculously OP. Uh, so let's take a look at what we've got going on. So on my person, I've got absorption five, which adds these extra hearts that we have here. Blindness three. So enemies that are in the area will become blind automatically. Bone mealer five. Why? I don't know. Um, but mainly because I wanted to test that one and see when I bone meal, when I crouch and do this whole thing, um, it doesn't bone meal all of it. And actually, look, I don't even have to do anything. I just literally... I naturally radiate bone meal bone meal -ization. bone mealization, something like that. Anyway, I just radiate bone meal. So that's kind of cool. So everything's just growing around me. Uh, what else did we get? We've got fire resistance, jump boost. So we jump just a little bit higher. Boop. I didn't want to go too high because that'd be a little bit crazy, but jump boost too. Um, we've got luck level three. So it's like we better chance for loot. I'm going to assume that's kind of like looting or fortune but kind of like a combined version night vision of course we have regeneration three so we regenerate our health faster resistance three saturation one out of three which makes it so that we reduce our hunger since i have had that i really have not had to eat anything which is kind of great um step assist strength five uh weakness three and wither one so enemies in the area will wither the thing that was causing me to not swing was the haste. Well, as soon as I apply haste five, um, which haste uh, makes you mine and attack faster, I'm just attacking so fast that it it's not registering a swing at all. But like I can break blocks nigh instantly. It's not 100% instant, but it's almost there. However, I don't like it. I don't like it being that fast. I like I don't like not seeing the animation for any of my stuff. So I think. Level three gives us an animation. Uh, and how about if we go up to level four? Yeah, we still get an animation on level four. It actually, honestly, it kind of seems a little bit faster on level four. So we'll leave it there. Um, but yeah, no flight yet, but that's OK. Uh, we're either going to get flight through here or we're going to end up getting flight through the angel ring. Um, that's where that's where we're at. But today, like I said, I'd like for us to be able to head into the end um, because I need to get the wither dragon, the wither dragon, the end dragon killed. Her name has been on my list for a while, so we need to take her out. And um, I'd like to get a wither and start getting some nether stars going, maybe. Um, and then maybe we'll get into a little bit of um, uh, hostile neural networks at some point and start duplicating like nether stars and things like that. As for our seeds over here, uh, nothing too crazy. It's all just the basic tier tier seed so we got fire seeds we got water uh you've got dirt nothing ridiculous the only one would be maybe uh fluix seeds which is a tier four 
Um, and those were made with just Imperium Essence and Fluix blocks. And the only reason I did that is just because making the Fluix is a pain because I had to throw it into water. So now I have Fluix available. I can actually make the Fluix dust with the seeds too, but I didn't even do that. We have an automation over here set up for it. So I just said, forget it. I just want to have the Fluix available to be craft. I have Obsidian seeds, probably might remove these ones. I mean, we have Obsidian being created for us, so we don't necessarily need that one. And then outside of that, it's just nature seeds and all that stuff. Um, and then with all of those, I went ahead and taught the system how to utilize all of those seeds. Um, so you can see down here, like we have, um, I taught it how to make buckets of water, uh, gravel, blackstone, sand, uh, silicon, uh, soul soil, all of the different colors of dyes, some basic plants and stuff like all the stuff that we can make that I figured we would need. The system knows how to make. You could also see in there that it knew how to make a bow because I realized when I made the dispenser for the um, passive mob farm, I used my 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 bow, my Uber bow. I didn't catch it that it pulled it in from my inventory up into the thing. So when I crafted it and then I was like looking around prepping for this episode, I'm like, all right, let's get our bow. And I'm like, oh, wait, we don't have a bow. Where's our bow at? Um, so, yeah, our bow is gone. So we need to make a new bow. Now, our bow that we're going to make is not going to be anything ridiculous because I'm not I'm not all about getting all the enchants and all that stuff going on with it right now. Um, but I just want to make a bow so that we have something to shoot some arrows. Uh, so, uh, bow that we're going to go with, might as well go with Miss Agriculture. We have it, um, and go with a Supremium bow, tier five bow. Uh, so I taught the system all of the micro crafts that we need for that. So we can go ahead and get that going. It's going to take a moment, but not terribly too long, but there we go. Look, we got a Supremium bow. Wow. Look at that. Pew, and we can fire arrows. Pretty cool. Right. Um, tells us how much ammo we have. It does not have durability, which is great. So we don't have to worry about running out of durability and it can be augmented. However, I was looking through the mystical agriculture augments and I'm like, I don't see any augments that would really make sense to put onto a bow other than something like maybe these health boosts or something like that. Um, but even then, no, I didn't even realize it tells you what it can go on to. And I don't see any of these that have the bow icon. So what augments can you put onto a bow? Because it says it is augmentable, but none of these augments are valid for a bow. So I don't know. I don't know what the point of having augment slots on a bow is when you can't, uh, there's no augments for bows. Unless somebody knows of one that I'm just not seeing here or something, um, no augments. However, you can enchant with it. So let's go ahead and work on getting enchanting. The Mystical Agriculture Enchanter, though, by the way, does seem to be pretty nifty. Um, in order to make it, we need to get a Solium Ingot, Enchanting Table, and Soul Stone, all of which we can handle um, and we can take care of now. However, in order to utilize this, we need Experience Essence, which we don't have. But this does let you farm for, um, or not just not farm, just craft enchants that you would like utilizing Essence. Experience Essence and then some sort of material, uh, you can just get sharpness max it out with just some nether quartz so i definitely want to get this experience essence at some point however in order to get the experience seeds we need to get experience capsules and these experience capsules i made one of them just to test it out and see if um it was possible for us to cheese it and then utilize this to fill the experience capsules but no we have to actually kill enemies with a soul knife i believe is what it's called um some there's a weapon from mystical agriculture the soul dagger we can use that to kill them and then it will fill up the um experience i believe we're gonna keep that on our inventory and find out i guess and see what happens additional souls additional souls because that's now that i'm thinking about it that's for the soul jar for making the seeds like the enderman seeds or the wither skeleton seeds but experience maybe it just goes in what if i just does that fill it up no but if i what if i got a bottle of enchanting no oh actually it did it went in there but it was six experience points okay so we just have to keep it on us uh and it'll fill up not going to complain we're going to go fight the ender dragon that'll help 
Okay, so with that all being said, let's take a look at how do we get to the end. Um, because, well, that's where we'd want to go. Do we want to enchant this and maybe at least get like, see what options we have? Let me make an enchanting table and bookshelf set really quick. All right, so we have a 15 bookshelves. I moved our crystal over here, separate enchanting table to clear out enchants and everything. I didn't have to do terribly too much. Um, but we have power four, I guess. I mean, we'll take it um, and see if we end up with anything extra. Um, Soulbound and power four. OK, we'll take it. Uh, we can always put books in here and reenchant or um, we can get into uh, industrial four going and do a little bit of enchanting there, too. I know Batania, we can do some uh, with that. Uh, so I think that we're good to go. Power four is fine. Just something, just a little psalm boost there, right? Anyway, uh, I was looking through the quest, by the way, for enchanting. Um, and there's a lot that we could do with enchanting. I've never played through apotheosis, apotheosis, apotheosis enchanting all the way up through. So maybe it's something that we can take a look into. I was looking at maybe making some of these hell shelves or the sea shelves, but it requires potions of regeneration, which I mean, honestly, isn't terrible, but it's just extra work that I don't really feel like doing at the moment. So I didn't make sense. So let's go ahead and dump all levels in there. And none of you, you could actually be enchanted, couldn't you? Because you don't have any enchants on you. Sure, let's grab a uh, one, two, three, 30 levels. Let's get protection three on you, sure. And rebounding. So enemies will teleport away. Actually, I don't care for rebounding, but whatever. Oh, and my helmet uh, should not be golden. We should just get a diamond helmet. Probably could go ahead and upgrade that to netherite too. But again, uh, it's a lot of work right now and I don't care for it. So one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, and diamond, give me protection three on there. Just a little bit of, a little bit of something. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what do we need to do to get to the end. Uh, so if we pop over here, in order to get to the end, we have to eat an end cake because there is no such thing as the end, right? We can't go find a stronghold. We're in a sky block. Uh, so let's go ahead and before we do that, let's go ahead and I know my... Um, battery is getting low, so we're going to go ahead and drop that off into here along with my jetpack. Drop that off and we're going to do the boop, 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 thing. And it should quickly fill both of those up. I should upgrade this, uh, but we also need to work on getting the player transmitter. I said a while ago we were going to do that and then never actually did. So, um, yeah, but that's me. Anyway, jetpack body. Good. End cake and eyes of ender, some sugar, an egg, and then crushed end stone. So I need to actually get some end stone. Um, end stone. All my end stone is used. Grab it quick. How many did I get? Three. Give me one. Okay, there we go. Whew. All right. So we got three end stone. We can grab our hammer. I should make the end seeds then, since I have that. End seeds. I'll add that to my to do list. What? Look, at, look how fast I'm swinging this thing. That's hilarious. Uh, anyway, we should be able to make this. Just get some sugar uh, and grab a stack of that. I uh, put sugar cane in one of those things, by the way. So I can probably take it out by now. But I put sugar cane in one of our photosynthesis thingies or photogenic or whatever the name of those things are. I can't remember. I'm just still laughing at how fast I'm swinging that uh, hammer. Anyway, end cake, grab that. Uh, we're also going to need to get ourselves a waystone out of the way. Out of the way. Thank you. Waystone. That way we can come back. Or, yeah, we can go back to the end without having to worry about the cake. Cake it up. Uh, and drop off my experience. I shouldn't die, but you never know. I have a lot of... Uh, a lot of perks going on with me right now. I'm probably going to be okay. I'm probably not going to take any damage, but I haven't actually tried. So, hello. All right. The end. And here we go. All right. I'm just very curious to see, like, how much damage do I do? Okay, I don't one-shot the Enderman. But it was close. Okay. Where is she at? Hello, my dear. Take that out. Take that out. Take that out. Took absolutely no damage from that explosion. That was weird. 
I did not let go of the button, but it fell. That one, and you know what? Before I kill her, I need to get some dragon's breath. Let's go ahead home. Pop on home. Let's get some bottles. I bet you that just really made the dragon angry. You know, just the, the, the mains that she's about to kill just disappears like that on her. Like, what? How rude. Uh, ender pearl, ender pearl, glass bottle can go away. And we've got an 11 experience. Okay, so it doesn't look like this has to be on my hot bar. Maybe it was on my hot bar, though. I'm not not 100% on that, so I'll leave it there, actually. What do we got over here? We've got some prosperity ore, inferium ore. We got an ability totem here. These guys are blind. They can't do anything and attack me. Jump boost. That's great. Okay, where, oh, where is my dragon? Come give me some breath. I want to smell your breath. I'm at the dentist. I'm not even taking damage from the dragon's breath. Uh, we're getting end air, but that's okay. Hello, my dear. You need a mint. Ow. And smack, 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 smack. Not too bad. Okay. I've only gotten five dragon's breath, but can't I make dragon seeds or something like that? Where I can get more? I don't know how much damage my bow does either. Like, what's a Supremium bow do for you? But it's actually more than my sword is doing, to be honest with you. I don't want to kill her yet, though. I would like more. There we go. I want more dragon's breath. Can you stop shooting me, lady? There we go. Ma'am, I need you to need you to calm down. Get over here. Hey, come here. Come here. We've got stuff to do. I don't want to kill you with my bow, though. I want to kill you with my sword. I don't know if looting is uh, affected on the dragon or effective. If the dragon is affected by looting, but I want it. So land. I'll save the rest for your landing. Thank you. Come on. Ah, that was rude. Throwing an Enderman at me. There we go. Okay, cool. Man, that did not even come close to filling that up. Still, that's a lot of experience that we're going to need for these experience seeds. Oh, wait, we haven't gotten the experience yet. Okay. No, now it filled up. Okay, Whew, there we go. I probably could have grabbed more of these then uh, and then just had them all fill up. Probably would have been wise. But it is what it is. Okay. Uh, eat you over here. Then we can go ahead and do the thing again. That is, oops. We can do the thing correctly. Can you fall down, please? Torch it. Bam. Give me the egg. Thank you. All right. So we have killed the end dragon. Yahoo. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll pop home. Dump this experience. Um, that tells me that I could probably, is there the XP tap? I could probably fill these up with an XP tap. I wonder if this works. I can either put it in a bucket or if this works directly off of this experience crystal, then I could fill these soul uh, things up pretty easily. Yeah, it works off of there. Turn off. There you go. So I can easily fill four of these up. I just need to kick that on and then let it let it fill up. Uh, so we got a dragon egg. Nice. We got the lucky diamond pickaxe of the scholar breaks in a three by two dragon scales, epic shaders from immersive. Um, we've got dragon scales, dragon heart, ender pearl, uh, dragon's breath, of course, ender air, a nebulous heart. That was from the enderman and stone and experience capsule. OK, cool. Let's check out our ability totems really quick just to see if we've gotten anything good. It's going to be one of these one ability totems. That's going to be the one that gives us the stuff. Um, so, yeah. OK, let's go ahead and get ourselves some tinted glass and wither skeleton skulls and some soul sand. Uh, it's like this, right? It's been a long while since I've summoned the wither, actually. Um, and let's go back over to the end and we'll fight the wither over there. We're going to trap him. I'm not going to let him go free. Uh, that's why I brought the tinted glass with me. So that way we can make sure this guy just just chills out. And eventually we'll set up a farm where we can have like industrial foregoing set up with the stasis chamber and all that stuff to uh, continuously farm him 
or we'll go another route. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the reason that we're using tinted glass is because it is weatherproof. Uh, when you're building this, you can have a three by three on the inside. Uh, you just need to make sure that you make it tall enough or else the wither is going to be able to pop out. Just like the slimes uh, we're doing in our um, mob farm. We want to make sure that we have it tall enough on the inside that the wither is not going to be able to get out. So we want it at least five high on the inside. So one, two, three, four, four, five. And then the sixth one will be where uh, we actually build. So let's go ahead and grab a building gadget and land ourselves on top of this. And then we can easily build from here. Uh, except for the fact that I ran out of glass. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, and there we go. A box for killing the wither. And honestly, I think we actually made it too high. It's very hard to tell <laughs> where everything is inside of this because of the connected textures. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get our wither. So we'll go ahead and one, two, three, four. And one, two, three. Take him out. We'll go ahead and place our glass back so that his explosion, excuse me, place the glass in the right spot. Maybe I did. I don't know. I kind of can't tell. Okay, so he is doing his thing, flying around. And we can just, you know, smack him a few times. He ain't gonna do much to us. He ain't having a good time in here. And there we go. Killed the wither. I like it. Pretty strong. Okay. Good. All right. There we go. Wither is gone. Let's go bed it back home. These endermen are getting on my nerves. And we got another star, of course. We got the Enchanted Scroll of Bloodthirst. Uh, can be used on an ally. Cool. We got a reward from Corral's Tombstones for killing that guy, which ended up being a Curse of the Bones. Chance to apply Bone Shield on hit. Gem, another Nebulous Heart and stuff. Really not terribly too much from the uh, Wither. Just another star was the big thing. Uh, but with that, we have taken out... Two of the bosses. The only other boss I know that we need to take out is going to be the um, Warden, which I have never done before, so I'm excited for that one. Uh, but we're going to have to figure out how the heck do we get the Deep Dark. I think it's an R's ritual, right? Um, but anyway, that's it for today's episode. We got... Oops, wrong button. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's it for today's episode. We got our stuff done. We have another star now. We could actually upgrade our dimensional storage um, to the next tier. I'd like to look into what do we need to do to get... Um, a wither data model is that a thing yes we can make a wither data model it is expensive power wise um but we just need to make a data model and kill f six withers and we can simulate them and then get nether stars or because like making nether star seeds is not going to be the easiest we need a catalyst um or a uh a crux underneath it um and we have to plant this i don't think no we can do it in the phytogenic we probably put the crux underneath the phytogenic insulator. Um, but the crux is multiple nether stars plus multiple insanium plus withering souls, um, which is only, you know, a 35% drop chance. And we did not get one. So with that being said, maybe going and getting, maybe going both routes, doing um, the hostile neural networks and getting a data model um, uh, and doing this route. We'll see you next episode, and maybe we'll get that going. I think that's going to be a good plan. So anyway, uh, look how fast. It's so funny how fast I, everything is now. Uh, anyway, uh, if you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one. Have a good one.